New jeans, baby! Oh my god, they're the future. They know the pressure is on. Us blinks, we don't play around. Especially with Jisoo, like don't do that. I'm burning it, oh no. Nobody scared you left right, left right. These, these girls are so cool. I should get different patterns. Oh my god, oh my god. What is this? Are we in a kitchen? <clears throat> are we cooking? Is this? Cooking with Karen. Okay, let's just get this intro started. Um, if you're new to the channel, hello, welcome to Cooking with Karen, season two. And if you're old to the channel, welcome back. I hope you are gonna enjoy this episode. Uh, we're gonna be having a fun time. Um, today, we are going to be speaking about whatever's on the title. Um, XG, Blackpink, Jisoo, um, Baby Monster. <laughs> I'm so rough. I'm staring right at the screen too and I'm like, I don't know if I should be doing that. But today I'm doing meal prep for the rest of the week. Kind of boring to be honest. And I was like, wait a minute. I have so many things I want to talk about, you know, uh, with K-pop. And I was like, we should bring back Cooking with Karen and see what we want to talk about. Because I've been talking a lot in the reaction videos, as you guys have noticed. And I'm like, wow, I have a lot to talk about. I have a lot of content. I have a lot of things I want to share with you guys. And um, a lot of thoughts about this new generation of K-pop and all of everything that's going on. So, what better time to do it? Cooking with Karen um, and all the new subscribers—they don't know how this channel was. You know, is this camera okay? Is it okay? The kitchen's a little smaller. I'm paying for my own apartment now, so gotta do what we gotta do. Um, but yeah, today I'm cooking uh, rice. Lots of it and some beef. It might turn out good, it might turn out not. You guys know me and cooking, we're not the best of friends, but I try. Uh, oh, I can do stir fry with some bit bit like a deacon, like stir fry. Okay, this might be in the beginning of the show, it might be at the end, but here's today's question Who do you think is going to be the biggest? I think this is fourth gen, right? Who do you think this is going to be the biggest fourth gen group? Rank them in terms of top five. In terms of like major international success, like these are like the next BTS, next uh, Blackpink, next um, EXO, next twice, next like mega mega groups in this new generation of um, artists in the next two years. So let, like think, think two, three years from now when everybody's kind of got on their feet, who do you think is up next? And why? What if I don't have rice? I gotta have rice. There we go. I do. Alright. I feel like we kind of have to like fill it up because this is going to be for the rest of the week. A lot of ideas for this for this show. I'm planning on bringing my friends doing mukbangs kind of thing. Asking my friends um, as they get more acclaimed with, with uh, K-pop what are their actual opinions because right now they really don't have opinions. But yeah, I'm just trying my best, you know. Uh, to keep the the spirit going, everything going now that my life is more settled. Can we start with Jisoo solo? Mm, no. Let's start with my new addictions right now. So I've been stuck for a while trying to figure out, okay, especially since Blackpink has been on tour and I've taken a break. I went on the Blackpink tour. We'll talk about that. Um, taking a break, I was like, and BTS also, although I've been actually vibing with uh, uh, <laughs> you know you got that vibe, baby. Anyway, I've been vibing with a lot of the solos. I am solo, um, Jin solo, been killing it. I can't wait for his album to come out. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I've just had to kind of sink my teeth into new artists, and I accidentally came across XG. Um, and so you guys have been seeing my obsession kind of build on that. Those girls are literally awesome. And I, I'm, I'm ex so excited for, I'm also a little, I have a lot to learn. I don't know any of their names, except I know Harvey because I made the mistake of saying she reminds me of Jenny. I didn't even compare her to Jenny. I literally just said she has a look 
that is similar to Jenny to me and everybody's like how dare you uh uh she's her own person I'm like you know people can look similar to each other to other people and not be like it's not a comparison I just saw her I can't help what I thought of anyway point is that's the only person that I do know um, there and I'm trying to learn more about them so I think today I'm gonna be watching an XG guide um, as a reaction and uh, slowly getting into them because I realized they've been they also have music from last year so like I'm actually curious to see um, how long they've been going and like I'm, I'm also curious like why they're getting hyped now because like they've been out for a little bit I don't know but I think they're so refreshing do you know what I mean like about them is that they kind of bring their own vibe you know what I'm saying and so I feel like XG brings a very new or let me say refreshing vibe before I get into trouble with people go have you seen 90s R&B blah 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 a refreshing vibe you know they the way they dance the way they handle themselves oh might I mention I know from the repeated comments that they're not K-pop now they're just based in Korea or something then somebody's gonna tell me some slight fact that I just said wrong again um, <laughs> but um, I'm sorry for saying that they're K-pop they're a global group band um, but um, yeah I think they're bringing a very refreshing sound I feel like they're bringing somewhat of a, um, a mature sound to it and the way they dance Oh my goodness, like those girls, I've been watching a lot of Twitter videos, I'll put one up here that I just watched. There's literally, I feel like I can't take my eyes, I, my eyes off of them. I feel like they're absolutely, absolutely like mesmerizing. I have good predictions for them. I feel like if they just keep going this way, one, I'm going to be utterly obsessed with them. Two, first of all, what is the fan name? Two, they're going to like take over. Like they're most very absolutely going to take over. Yeah, this is feeling like a lot. I'm not sure about this. Oh, it's raining. I either always put too much salt in my food or too little. I can't cook. I don't know what you need. These girls are so cool. I, I just that I, they're so cool. Like even the, the dances, they'll be like, uh, 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 and the outfits, everything. They're, they're killing it. I'm obsessed. I'm trying to learn because I'm a very curious person. I'm very into psychology. I'm very into all that kind of stuff. And I want to learn the psychology of fandoms. Um, because I feel like K-pop fans are probably the most unique people that I've met. Um, I went to my first K-pop concert, it was Blackpink, you guys know all about it. Um, it was in Dallas, I'm also kind of considering going to Coachella, um, but like I'd have to go VIP and there's like another two, three thousand. I don't know, if I can hustle just the Saturday, because let me, let me be honest with you, I only want to see Blackpink. The other people are cool, but I really wouldn't be bothered, like I just, I would literally just go on the Saturday. Side come in in the morning and spend the whole day there just to, to see Blackpink like just line up there and then after that I'm going home like I really couldn't care less about anything else or anybody else like I would literally just go I literally the only reason I would go to Coachella is to see Blackpink so if I could just get the Saturday ticket VIP then I'm, I'd be really happy but point is that was my first concert I was just supposed to go to the I had bought tickets for the big 
uh, concert that was happening with Somi and Kai and everybody, the one that kind of, it didn't get cancelled but everybody's visa suspiciously um, was denied um, right before the performance and I had to give my tickets back because I'm like I don't know anybody else who's performing. The point is I went to the, to the Blackpink concert, I was very shocked by the age groups. Um, there were no, maybe because I arrived super early and I was VIP but I'm not sure. But there were not a lot of kids. Like there were not a lot of like tweens. You know, they were they were quite a couple. But I feel like they were they had a, a largely majority older fan base. Like definitely like probably eighteen to twenty four being the majority, and then also like a lot of older people in their thirties, forties. I was very surprised. And also the people that comment a lot of my reactions and leave paragraphs and like really insightful comments are usually much older people like with kids and stuff like that and I'm so intrigued if you're one of those people like when did you get into k-pop why do you like k-pop what keeps you going all these generations and all these different um, phases of k-pop what do you think about all of it because I kind of want to I might do a study on that I might actually want to see if I can go find go to like k-pop events and just start interviewing people because I'm, I'm genuinely curious about that talking about blackpink jisoo's solo should we talk about that no not yet but i do want to talk about the babies baby monster okay i also need to start cooking otherwise i'm just never gonna finish and i need to sleep um so we're gonna get the steak out there's no meal in the world that i have without garlic I must have garlic in every single meal. Even when it doesn't make sense to have garlic, I will have garlic in all my food. It's my obsession. Um, oh, dropped it. Um, I also, one of the new artists that I've been getting into, they haven't debuted yet, which is very interesting. Again, bringing me back to that psychology thing, like how are we able to how is a group that hasn't debuted yet? We literally don't know these kids. We've just heard them sing covers. How are we so, like, sucked into them? Like, how, what's the psychology behind that? Do you see? It's very interesting when you think about things a lot. Um, also very crazy because you, you drive yourself insane. But, like, Baby Monster, I've been really, really into them. Um, and learning about them because I've mentioned this a hundred thousand times. This is my first pre-debut group that I get to sink my teeth into. Um, so I'm very excited about that. For those who are original, you know, BTS stands, original Blinks, original TXT fans, have seen a K-pop group from start. What is the key to them blowing up? And how do you tell that metric? Like, how do you, um... How do you do this? How do you know when they're on the, the way? Like when BTS, I know BTS is a story because they've documented a lot of it, but when, you know, Twice started or TXT or uh, I don't know, some of these big groups started, did they blow up immediately? And what's blowing up? Because right now I see like, you know, 100 million views as like, that means you were officially made it, right? Or like big. So like, is, is like, two million views in a music video in a week for a new group is that like significant like what's the what's the sign of like this is a mega group like that's what i'm very curious about you know i really just started this show so i could ask all the questions i've been dying to ask and don't want to make people sit through <laughs> in, in a reaction video but that's what i've been dying to figure out because i'm very curious to like what are our expectations with, with Baby Monster, what are our predictions? When do when do they debut? Post all of this right now, like all the introductions. What happens next? Do you know what I mean? Like, do we wait a year for them to finally release a, a song? Or do we wait a month? Um, and how, what are we expecting the views for them to be like, that wasn't a flop? Or like if they get 10 million views in a week, is that a flop or is that a bop? You know what I'm saying? I would say, who, who are like my, my top bi viruses? <laughs> my top biases will definitely be, um, I think I like, these are initial reactions too. Like I haven't watched the rest of the intro videos. So like I'm basing it off of the intro videos, but I really do like uh, Chiquita. I have to get that name right. So if I say it wrong, I haven't looked up how to say it right yet, uh, but somebody told me I was saying it right. So I gotta fix that. 
uh, uh, saying it wrong, so I had to fix that. I also like Asa from her initial video. She was chilling it. Um, I like. Um, I believe it's Par Par Parita. Parita's voice. Was it Rora? Not Rora. I think it was Rora's voice. Like both of them, obviously. But like I think Rora. I think it's Rora because it reminds me of her Aurora kind of thing. Uh, so those are my those are my faves so far. Um, yeah, but like I still need to watch the rest of the intro videos, and I'm really 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 intrigued. I'm excited to go to a lot of K-pop concerts this year, um, and you know vlog those and everything. Like this is not cutting. It's not gonna work. I'm just gonna throw it in there. Um, yeah, that's what's going on with my life. Honestly, guys, I can't cut and concentrate at the same time. I'm going to keep hurting myself, so... <sighs> Let's play some music while we kind of wait. New jeans, baby! Oh my goodness! I had a slow start to new jeans. Like, I was like, but I think they're the future. I said it... This, don't play with knives. I said it right now, but I think they're the future. Um, they have this great uniqueness about them that and I said in the reaction one of them no oh I thought I dropped meat Whew. um they have this uniqueness about them that they're also refreshing I think that's the key to making it you know instead of replicating what already exists or going too unfamiliar just being refreshing I and I'm seeing that through line where like XG and New Jeans, they kind of just refresh me because like they're songs that are not hard to 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 digest. Do you know what I mean? Like when you like they make choreo that's easy to to not easy to learn, but like they're what's it called? The hit star choreo, like the main part of the choreo is something that's addictive within itself that everybody else kind of wants to or feels like they can learn it. Um, like, oh my, oh my God, this da -na -na -na. I was really hoping that you could come through. And then also with, with new jeans, what I really like about them is that, okay, perfect. With new jeans, what I really like about them too is that they, they play their age. Do you know what I mean? These are really young girls and they're not trying, I feel like they're not forced to kind of like make music for older people or like make music that appeals to everybody. It feels very personally for their age and very age appropriate. Like, like the fact that, oh my God, just feels like you can relate it to your first crush kind of thing is what I really like. Like they're not trying to act like, oh, I've been in love for a hundred years. Like, what are you, you're 13. Like, no, you haven't, you know? So it just kind of makes it like, they're writing, oh my god, about a crush, you know, and it's just like, they're not trying to be empowering, they're not trying to, and that's all great, do you know what I mean? But like, everybody, like, doesn't have to do the same thing, <laughs> and give the same message, and provide the same vibe, like, everybody has their own thing, and I'm pretty sure that they're gonna do a, um, an, an empowering song or something at that point, but like, songs like, oh my god, are needed, you know what I mean? where somebody can just um, listen to a song, easily listening, the melody is easy to listen to, the vibe is easy to get into, and you, you can just be like, oh my god, I remember when I had like a crush. Y'all are evil for not telling me what I just found out. So here I am thinking, oh wow, it says warm, is it ready? No, no, actually, I didn't even start cooking the rice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh my, oh my God, yes, I miss on that. I was really hoping that he will come through. Oh my, oh my God, turn the funny, yeah. Asking all the time about what I should do. Now I can never let him go. The man's in young, the 24, then hang on. I just don't want to let him know. I know. The dirty tongue got you to not let me. I'm so, so tumbled down. And I'm not going to let you all in. Oh, who is he? I want to be going on my moose. 
Anyway. I'm burning it. Oh no. I wanted to talk about Jisoo Solo. Jisoo Solo. Predictions, predictions, predictions. What do we think it's going to be about? What do we think it's going to look like? Given that she is a, the pressure is getting wetter. She's literally the last one. It just dawned on me. Like, everybody's had their solo. And she's the last one. So, like, I think her performing liar and everything has really shown, it's shown me personally, like, the Jisoo we're going to be getting in this, in this, uh, what do you call it? With this solo, I'm not prepared for. But I, I think it's going to be awesome because, um, I feel like Jisoo's a natural. Do you know what I mean? Like, first of all, she's an actress, so I cannot, I really, I really freaking hope they utilize her acting skills fully and cadooly and for, for as much as possible in the music video because that would be an absolute ridiculous, redonkulous, cabonculous waste if they do not do that. She's amazing. We need a movie. We, we don't need a music video. We need a whole freaking production. And apparently they've spent the highest that they've ever spent. They say that for every music video, which is a good thing because it means that every single time they feel that and they know that they have to do better and better. So I love that they're not spending, spa <laughs> sparing any dime on my girl's video. And I think they know. They know the pressure on us blinks. We don't play around, especially with Jisoo. Like, don't do that. You know, it has to be amazing. It has to be perfect. Jisoo is going to deliver. We just need YG not to play around with promotions. But one thing I know for sure is whether YG plays around with promotions or not, one thing my girl's going to do, Jisoo, she's going to give us content. That's one thing my girl's going to do. There's, there's no way she doesn't do that because I feel like Jisoo is just so... She thinks of us. She's like, I feel like she thinks of of Blinks so naturally. I feel like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I have no words, but I, I feel like she doesn't ever need to try. It's just a very natural thing. And she, she's just a natural at creating content. And that's, I think that's what I'm so in love with and I'm so excited for. Like her music's gonna be awesome. I know she's not gonna shy around with V Live, I know she's not gonna shy around with giving us, um, what do you call it, the content that we deserve. That's what I'm excited for. I can't wait for her to finally display her vocals really, really well because she freaking deserves all the shine in the world. Um, and I just, I don't know. Jesus also, I've been seeing like she's in her prime, like, she's been serving looks. She's currently, I think she just finished her Dior show right now. And she, when I tell you, this this girl ages backwards. Like, why why does Jisoo age backwards? Like, there's a picture I saw on Twitter of her. And I was like, oh, that looks like, when was that? How come I've never seen that picture like of her like in her early days? And then I realized it was a picture of like yesterday. And I was like, you have got to be freaking kidding me why does she look like she's 12 and then in this next second you dress up in a next in a new outfit she looks like she is like a queen like it doesn't make sense how she's able to switch my prediction first is that it should be coming april i feel like she's definitely gonna perform it in coachella whether she performs it before or after coachella i mean whether the music video comes before or after coachella not too sure. They might do like what they did for Rose's Gone, where they maybe give like a pre one on Coachella where they kind of release it on the night maybe. She performs it, then they release it on the night, and then they do the big one um, right after. That's my prediction. Definitely gonna be around April. Something's coming up that's official. What kind of vibe we're going for? I know they're gonna probably do something that's kind of like a ballet. Ballet. <laughs> yes. uh, ballet. Uh, ballet. There we go. I was like, what is the word? Oh, I feel like that's. 
Ouch. They're gonna do like a ballad to display her her deep, rich voice. They should. If you guys are watching this and you haven't, do it. Re go re-record and do it. Thank you. Um, so yeah, they're either gonna do that or I feel like the, the second one is gonna be, obviously it's gonna be more main song vibes. Yo, will Jisoo rap? No, that would be sick though. Like, what is Jisoo rap? She's not gonna rap. Oh, that would be... I, I have so many questions. Are they also gonna do like an all English version for her so that she charts like in America and everything like that? I feel like they're going to. Do you guys want that? Do you really want... Do you want an all English Jisoo song? I don't know how I feel. That. I feel like I would want that for her just so that she charts and she gets the international success and the US radio success and everything. Nothing's gonna be good either way, but I don't know if she would want that. But either way, I feel like it's gonna happen and I'll be happy with it um, and it's gonna be sick. But I'm so excited about, like, I'm curious about the big song. Is it gonna be a big ballad? Is it gonna be sexy? Is it gonna be, um, like clarity, like I have zero predictions actually now that I'm thinking about it. Is it gonna be sad, but like strong and powerful, getting out of the dust and crazy? I have zero, I need to see the teaser. Is it gonna be <laughs> young Rojisu, like oh, powerful, but like righteous? I have zero idea, but I'm very excited about it. Um, so I wanna see that. I Okay, so now we got the final pieces of the meal coming together, putting some stir-fried vegetables, then I'm gonna put the meat back in and I feel like we should be done after that. Idea. We should have segments in this in this thing where, yeah, we should have segments so that it's kind of like a show almost. Segment one, I'm thinking, my, your top five shows. I mean, like, I don't know, Q and A? Uh, and then on for the next show and then I'll be answering Q&A. Um, segment number two idea, um, I ask you a question and then you leave it in the, qu in the comments below. So, <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, non-binary folks, um, babies and adults, I present to you, what if I drop it? Oh my goodness, that would be horrible. My meal. I think I did a pretty good job. What do we think? Are we happy with this? I have not tasted it and I kind of don't want to. It looks okay and I don't want to disappoint myself. But this has been an episode. Let's taste it. W wouldn't be fair if we don't taste it. Got some basmati rice, which finally cooked. And a little beef stew. I mean, it's food. <laughs> no, it's good. It's actually good. Like, it's like a home cooked, hearty meal. I can't complain. That has been an episode of Cooking with Karen. This is going to be heavily edited because this is like 30, 40 minutes of footage. I don't know how long you guys want this to be. This is literally stream of con consciousness on the not thought out not scripted let me know if you guys kind of want to follow that vibe or you want a more well thought out show with segments and if that's the case drop the segments below that we should have drop the topics i should talk about next week i'm trying to figure out if this is going to be something we drop on the weekend or something we drop during the week again if you have any thoughts any cool stuff let me know this channel is yours as much as it is mine I have bought some pretty cool equipment, like a mic and everything. I'm bringing the lives back. We're going to be doing live reactions. I feel like that's a smart way to go about it, um, where we're going to be doing live reactions. Or maybe we can stream on like Twitch or something. I need to figure out the live reaction setup first. I'll probably do that over the weekend. Um, and we'll do live reactions. We'll do live covers. And then we can just split it up. I can edit it and split it up for as content throughout the week for people who might have not watched the live just to kind of get efficient get better get you know cooler and bring more value bring more fun bring more vibes make this a community again i feel like when i was going through all the changes in my life i won't leave you behind 
changes in my life I got you by my, I got you by my side You guys need to go listen to that video, that song, it's, it's a classic um, Yeah, when I was going through all the changes in my life um, I kind of stopped shooting as much, stopped doing live, stopped doing all of this Because I literally was going through the biggest change in my life Going into adulthood everything new job everything you guys know i've explained this to you um so i kind of couldn't keep up with everything so now i feel like i'm at a stable point in my life even though it's completely highly unstable because i'm now preparing for another side of my career which is making music and everything which is exciting nervous nerve-wracking and everything i feel like i'm stable enough to kind of schedule things and so i'm kind of ready to get this stuff going get to build relationships and with you all I'm get get re ready to build relationships with you, um, and I got you by my side. Bum 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 bum. For you, I'm scared.